welcome back to the Chevy Florida Insider Fishing Report. And Dave, new products over here at the CCA Workbench. Yeah, this is a, a new little doodad called the Leader Mate. There, you know those Cushit guys who put that big yeah. thing you, you put yeah. on the bottom, you know, yeah. for Cushia? Yeah. Well, this is made by the same people. This is called the Leader Mate, made by Luna C. And what this is, this is for is that you once you get back from the dock, you know, and you got a big, uh, you know, let's say you got a Kobe or uh, jig on here with a long leader or maybe a long leader for a, a chicken rig or something you come back instead of cutting it all off you put one of these things on your rod you know it goes right on your rod and then you wrap the leader around this big mess here and then it pins on here with a little pin you can pin it or it'll stuff the late weight right in there so it keeps all your leader system right oh, alongside cool. the and rod it, and it keeps it from banging banging back and forth you can hang that in the boat or put it in the back of the truck you don't have to worry about all the leaders getting all messed up which cool. you know is a big pain in the butt most of the time i like it so yeah it's pretty, called the leader mate somebody was thinking leader mate by luna c next you know i was talking to uh patty boy Deneen about you know if there's anything new as far as the cobia are going and he said you know that this new hoagie uh bait jig here is is one of the things that they're using and that it's it's a really it's made for swim baits and hoagie's making these great big nine and ten inch swim baits like these right and you put put that on that uh, barbarian 3x that's a two ounce they come in one ounce they come in a half ounce that's a that's a two ounce right there and that'd be perfect for a cobia. I know a cobia would eat that in a heartbeat. Dave, why such a big jig head? Well, because you want to throw it a long way. Is that what it's about? Pretty much. You want to throw it a long and, way. And have it sink immediately because it could be up to 20 feet deep, right? Yeah. If you're fishing off the beach. Right. You And it will be about that deep, usually between 15 and maybe even 30 feet deep, you know, depending on where you see them or where they're traveling. Right. But this, you know, they also make a, a soft circle hook. That's called the Barbarian Jig Head. Uh -huh. This is called their soft circle hook rig. And what it is, it's just a, you know, just a, a soft swim bait with a little wire on it and you put it on there and that's a little circle hook. That would be great for anything. They're catching a lot of tarpon on that right now. Yeah. They catch, that'd be perfect for that. You know what that'd be great for? That'd be a great pitch bait for a white marlin yeah. or a sailfish or a blue marlin even with, you know, you, you can use that same hook. Yeah. I've caught plenty of blue marlins on that same hook right there. That'd be an, that thing would go straight down. I mean, it wouldn't be, there would be no, it'd be a hundred percent hookup ratio now, I know, on that thing I know probably. the answer to this, but I want you to tell, even though you're fishing an artificial and a circle hook, uh -huh. you set the hook the same way? Just real. Right? I don't set the hook anyway. That's correct. With any any hook, you know, with a right. with a, a J hook or a circle hook. I've, I was very fortunate I learned not to be jerking around on the rod. So first thing you do when something eats it, you just start winding, you know, and that's how you catch fish. Uh -huh. um, also, we've got some more swim swim baits. These are from Bass, Bass Assassin. These are the swim hooks, actually. Yeah, they got and a lot of guys talking about them. I, I you know, I... I won't throw a swim bait without, unless it has a weight on it. I think it adds a lot more action to them. Plus, you get to you know throw it a lot further than just a regular one. So, I like to have a weight in there. And, th and this is good about this weight. It's it's flatter and has a lower profile. You know, you don't have to worry about it. If you were wanting to even thread one on there, it wouldn't even mess it up. You don't have to thread them on because you got the little curly cue on there. Right. But uh, you know, a comes, good good com wide gap comes hook, in a which quarter I really and appreciate. An Comes in a quarter eighth and three zero you know, and five zero. They come in gold color and the you know whatever color. Natural silver and, and avocado correct. red. What else you got there? Well, I've got these are from my buddy up up north, uh, in tournament cable. These are the laceration plugs, and what these are, these are a big. It's a big cedar plug, you know, for tuna fish. They come mm -hmm. rigged or unrigged, and you know a cedar plug one of the one things you have to worry about when you're tuna fishing a lot is the size of the bait so cedar plugs work really good because you know they're not that huge and you can be you can be trolling this is a glow plug actually you can be trolling through an area and you know if you're trying to use a great great big lure you're not going to get a bite you come through with a smaller uh cedar plug or something you'll get a bite out of a tuna when the other guys can't get a bite because they're using too big of stuff now do they make this in a smaller version too um I don't, I'm not sure. You asked me a question I didn't know the answer to. But, that does uh, never happen. Uh, well, it happens sometimes. But no, seriously, I know they make them in rigged. This is a rigged version. They, and, and the tournament cable guy, he uses really good stuff. You know, you can see very good, very good terminal tackle. I'll get to the sea sucker stuff next week. Yes, sir. We can tease everybody about components. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs>